I'm done with the uh, three-wheeler so I guess I'll uh, take it for a small ride and take you guys along with me hopefully I can hold on to this camera and ride the bike at the same time oh what I do with the key I guess I go find the key All right, let's try this again. Actually, it's a cold start. It hasn't ran in over a week. you're hearing the noise you're hearing I believe I got to get a uh, pulley system or something to, to tighten this chain up down here a little bit because I think it's rubbing inside the housing there somewhere whenever it gets uh, under under torque so uh, yeah that's so far so good I'm happy with it well I was looking at the bike there for that noise took that cover off and uh, sure that chain can use an adjustment Hey Russ. But uh, I found out where the chain is hitting. I'll show it to you. If you can see that right there, 
the chain is hitting there. When I'm sitting on it, it brings down the, the bike low enough, and then when this thing is tight, it rubs right up on there. That's the uh, battery tray bracket that I made. I'm probably going to have to do something about that. We reroute that bracket there. But yeah, that's where it's at. I'll uh, take it off and see what I can do about it. Alright, so I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, let's go give it another try. I cut that piece off. There's plenty. I over I overwalded it. There's plenty of uh, meat on that to hold that battery. Well, wish me luck. I think that did the job, most indubitably. Just got to put that cover back on, call it a day. So I guess with that, I just thought I'd throw this out there for you. So have a good day today and a better day tomorrow. See ya.